Hey, what's going on everybody? Tyler here, coming at you with another beer review. Today's beer is going to be another Ellison uh, Brewing Beer out of East Lansing, Michigan. It is going to be You Can Get With That Juice. It is their double New England IPA, coming in at 9% ABV. Um, it's their double IPA version of their Hazenstein, I believe, which um, I picked up this and a couple others, along with Hazenstein, at their can release a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so if you haven't checked out that review, go ahead and I'll link it above. Uh, check that one out because that was a great beer too. This one, you can get with that juice. Again, props to uh, whoever names their beers because this is this name is one of the better names I've seen in a while as well. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I guess let's just get into it. There's no hops or anything on it, so it's just their double New England IPA. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so I picked this one up at the can release, like I said, um, along with Hazenstein and a couple others that they had. This one's pouring out nice and hazy as you would expect. This one was canned on uh, 117, so today is the 27th. Um, not a very clean glass, as you can probably tell here. Just rinsed it out, I don't know how. Anyway, so... I can smell it from here. Um, it's pouring a beautiful golden, a uh, little bit darker than that Hazenstein that I reviewed before, um, but still that beautiful golden orange color. Nice compact uh, white bubbles in the head here. I can smell it already from here. Uh, let's so let's uh, get our noses in. Big orange in this one. Um, a big fresh squeezed orange juice in this. Um, bigger than than that Hazenstein. Um, that one had a lot of orange, but then there was other tropical peach notes too that uh, kind of went along with it. This is mostly mostly fresh squeezed orange. Um, you're getting a little bit of earthiness in there, a little bit of bitterness, um, but a lot of orange. Some pineapple mango, a little bit of sweet on the sweeter side, pineapple, mango, tropical fruits. Um, but that's just taken kind of a back seat to the to the fresh orange juice, orange uh, orange peel. Yeah, it's an awesome smelling beer. I wish you guys guys could smell it. Um, yeah, it smells awesome. So I guess without further ado, let's get a taste on. You can get with that juice by Ellison Brewing. Cheers. Mouthfeel, big, rich, creamy. It's a big double IPA, um, so I would expect that very velvety, creamy, bready, crackery malts kind of hold this whole beer together. Um, yeah, this is that mouthfeel is amazing. Um, that's a top-notch mouthfeel. <laughs> um, that's what she said, but, <laughs> so, getting into the flavors past the mouthfeel, um, you're getting hit with a nice, nice, um, tropical notes, some, some kind of mango, uh, papaya, those rich kind of tropical notes, um, it's not as citrusy and orange forward as I expected from the nose, um, but, there's a there's a nice level of oranginess to it, orange juice, um, but mostly there's like an orange uh, peel bitterness to it too, like a citrus uh, peel bitterness, a very good earthy bitterness. Um, so it's a it's there's a there's a good level of bitterness. Yeah, so you're getting a lot of sweet fruits up front, a lot of sweet tropical kind of overripe pineapple mango. Some pretty juicy orange notes too, uh, but there's a lot of orange citrus peel bitterness where it's like a refreshing, but it's also bitter. Um, good amount of earthiness to it too. I assume they, they're brewing with some Simcoe in this uh, to give it that, that kind of earthy, acidic, uh, piney kind of, kind of flavor to it. Um, it's very well made. Yeah, this one's pretty pretty bomb. Um, it's a little bit cold, but 
but I think the flavors uh, show up pretty well, and as it warms up, I think it's going to get even better, and maybe even a little bit less bitter. Um, yeah, smooth, creamy, rich, orange, tropical, bitter, earthy. It's a winner, guys. If you see this one, pick it up. If you can go to the brewery, I say definitely uh, it's worth picking up. You can get with that juice from Ellison. Who would like this? Anybody that likes New England style IPAs. If you like bitter ones, if you like non-bitter ones, you'll like this beer. The mouthfeel, the tropical flavors, the orange flavors are are at all top level where you want to be. Um, I think this is comparing it to Michigan um, New England IPAs. I think this one is a little bit more bitter than um, and more American style IPA than M43. Uh, which was voted the 2017 <laughs> Michigan Beer of the Year. Um, so that's pretty cool. But this one's a little bit more bitter than that, a little more earthy. But, yeah, there's a little bit of peach in there as well. You know that I'm kind of taking some time with this one. Awesome beer. Like I said, if you like New England IPAs, you'll like this one. Um, if you like, if you want to get into more bitter I IPAs, you can try drinking this one. Uh, I feel like a broken record saying that, but um, yeah. So if you like big decadent stouts, you might like this one too. Who knows? <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe to my channel. I'm putting up uh, new reviews. Check out my other Ellison review. And so you can stay tuned for my future Ellison reviews as well as others. I just picked up kind of a mix of six. So uh, we'll be having those reviews on here. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitter at Review the Brew. Instagram is the same at Review the Brew. Um, I'll leave links down below. So check me out there. I tweet and post pictures um, all the time of beers that I'm drinking and what I think of them and stuff. So go check me out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.